Hello everyone and welcome back to Killer Shrew Fans 12 Days of Reviews. Now, when I started planning out what I wanted to do for this year's lineup, there was no question in my mind that I wanted to make another head-to-head -head video for one of the days. Originally, I was hoping to pit the new PNSO Burilo Pelta against the Collecta offering, but unfortunately my order for the PNSO figure is still in transit and it left me somewhat scrambling as I tried to figure out what to do instead. But then I remembered a little line I said during Nan Moon November. You can see how these guys look together and honestly now that I have both, it might be time for another head to head. I have a feeling this one might be a bit harder to call than the last one though. Yes, I figured now was as good a time as any to pit Nan Moo's Ankylosaurus Mace against Rebor's Ankylosaurus War Pig. Welcome to episode two of Head to Head and today Today, we're going to be comparing these two armored brutes. In corner one, we have Rebor's Ankylosaurus War Pig. Released in 2018, this is one of Rebor's few living herbivorous dinosaur offerings to date, and as such, it has proven to be a standout among Rebor's catalog in the two years it's been in production. Measuring in at just over 11 inches long and 4 inches off the ground in its neutral stance, War Pig comes out of the gate with a distinctive size advantage over Nanmu. Nanmu's Ankylosaurus Mace is another new addition to their ever-growing line of dinosaur models inspired by the Jurassic franchise. Like all of Nanmu's products, this Ankylosaurus bears an uncanny resemblance to its film counterpart, garnering it a lot of attention and praise from fans of Jurassic World. Measuring in at just past 9 inches long from tail to snout and coming in at around 2 and 3 quarters inches off the ground, this small but mighty figure is the underdog in terms of size. But which of these living tanks is the best beefcake for your shelf? Well, let's find out. Round 1. Price. As always, one of the first things to consider as a collector is the value of the figure in question. Rebor often strives to craft products that are both high quality but affordable, and they once again lead with a distinctive advantage over Nanmu in this round. This woodland variant of the War Pig is currently available for pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store for the modest price of $36.99 plus applicable shipping and taxes. Big Bad Toy Store is also also currently stocking the Nanmu Ankylosaurus, but at $54.99, the figure is considerably more expensive than Rebor's offering, as most Nanmu products are. And with the upcoming additional features War Pig has to offer over Nanmu's Ankylosaurus, the first round easily goes to Rebor. Winner, Rebor. Round 2, The Sculpts. Both of these Ankylosaurus models offer their fair share of unique sculptural details. Nanmu's take on the Jurassic World Ankylosaurus features crisp, uneven scale work and folds of skin bunching up around the opened mouth on the face. The limbs and flank of the animal feature similarly styled, uneven scale work adorning the musculature in those squat legs. The underbelly is also very well sculpted with lovely leathery scale-like skin running across the entire surface area. The armor is much more basic in its presentation, with general rough textures adorning most of the back. The spikes do have some great weathering and texture to them, however, and the club tail looks very bony and intimidating. Rebor's offering of Ankylosaurus is no slouch in terms of the details. You can see the head features those clustered, uneven armored scales, which transition to smaller, more more tightly packed scales that cover the entire dorsal region of the figure. Interspersed among the scale work are several armored plates and spines that feature some great texture, and the iconic club tail of Ankylosaurus is covered in some great scale detail as well. The musculature in those beefy legs is also very well handled, and you can see some additional armored growths above the rippling muscle tones. The underbelly also features a ton of scale work and lovely pulling or folding skin around the limbs. This is easily the toughest round to call when comparing these two, and it may come down to personal preference for many. Nanmu's Ankylosaurus features a wider variety of detail, but the less defined work on the entire back of the figure cripples it 
overall. On the other hand, Rebor's offering also suffers from the usual over-reliance on obscene levels of detail to make it stand out, and some of the usual unappealing features can be found on this figure, like these sunken in black eyes. This is a very hard choice to make. Both have their strengths and weaknesses, especially the Rebor figure, although those tightly packed scales on the back really make that armored area look incredible when compared to Nan moves, it does get a bit monotonous when you take the figure in as a whole. I find the variations in texture and style on Nanmu's mace makes for a more believable sculpt, and even if it isn't as crisp as Rebor's work all around, the next round will help put Nanmu's sculpt work over the edge here and give them their first point. Winner, Nanmu. Round 3, The Paint. Both of these figures are presented in cooler tones, and whereas Nanmu's is obviously meant to reflect the design of Jurassic World, it appears that Rebor being Rebor have also drawn inspiration from that particular color scheme. You can see that the main body is gray in color with dark brown washes and dry brushes on the arms and feet of the animal. The color transitions to a dark grayish blue on the back of the model, and the growths of armor are painted with a glossy brown and black. Nanmu's version features more tones of blue, cream, and brown applied utilizing a variety of different techniques, including dry brushing across the armor to bring out that rough texture, somewhat helping its more rudimentary appearance. You can also see that the model has vibrant washes on the head and shoulders to make all of those larger scales pop. The transitions in color here are also handled quite smoothly, making for a well-balanced and eye-catching color scheme. I also find myself preferring the more matte finish, especially in the armored regions. Despite how well applied Rebor's colors are, the intricate and more naturalistic paint job on this Nanmu offering elevates the base work of the sculpt and gives Nanmu the round. Winner, Nanmu. Round 4, Display. As always, it is important to consider that different collectors look for different things when it comes to deciding what to buy. Some collect for dioramas, customs, or toy photography, and each of those hobbies comes with their own unique expectations for display. Both of these ankylosaurus models have similar poses with the arms and legs bent, body low to the ground, and somewhat leaned forward in a digging in position. Fans of Jurassic World may appreciate how well Nanmu have managed to capture the defense of stance taken by the Ankylosaurus in the film, but it is important to note that this is one of the few Nanmu figures to not offer a single point of articulation. Whereas such features are not a requirement for most models, this means that not much can be done when it comes to posing options. Rebor's Ankylosaurus, however, features three points of articulation, one at the mouth allowing you to open and close the lower jaw, another at the base of the skull which means you can rotate the head about the neck, and the figure does come with a detachable pipe cleaner tail, which makes for all sorts of posing options. It may not seem like much, but these three areas of movement allow you to alter the energy of the entire figure, making for more dynamic and personalized display options. All of these additional points of articulation, as well as a larger size on a figure that costs less, gives Rebor this round. Winner, Rebor. Round 5. Accuracy. This is another difficult round to judge. On one hand, you have Nanmu's offering perfectly reflecting the Ankylosaurus of Jurassic World, right down to the defensive pose the animal takes right before dueling with the Indominus. As with almost all of their offerings, Nanmu have painstakingly recreated the film counterpart down to the last detail. As such, it feels like I should be judging both of these models based on how well they match the film versions of the Ankylosaurus. The problem the problem is that Rebor's offering seems to be lacking an identity altogether. It doesn't appear to be based on the Jurassic World animal like Nanmu's is, but as far as being a scientifically accurate model, it doesn't quite fit the bill for that either. The body shape is off from a dorsal view and the armor shouldn't really be spiked on the back. This means the model is neither here nor there in terms of any sort of accuracy. It's not scientific nor film inspired and because of that, this round kind of falls into Nanmu's lap given that it is at least accurate to something. Nanmu takes the final round, and with it, the competition. Winner, Nanmu. This was a much closer race than the last head-to-head, -head, even if it sounded very similar. I went back and forth a lot while filming, but ultimately I felt that Nanmu's strong take on a recognizable creature of 
film is what solidified their win here. Even if it is more affordable, Rebor's model doesn't really exist as either scientific or pop culture inspired, leading me to wonder who it's made for. If you are after a scientific model, then there are better options out there that are even more affordable. And if you want something to showcase your love for Jurassic, it may be worth saving up a little extra to get the genuine article. This war pig, though great in its own right, will really only fit into a collection if it is a Rebor collection. Do you agree with Nanmu's win? Be sure to let me know which figure comes out on top for you, and as always, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Head to Head. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care out there, and bye bye